Hey, welcome! I'm really glad you decided to join. Welcome to a new episode. It's first one, so it's very special to me. In this episode, we talk about what is agent, what is model, how they communicate, and we do first touch of a killer code. Let's begin. So, first thing that's very important to differentiate model and agent. It's a very common mistake when people mix them and don't understand who is doing what. Then good luck reading bug reports from them. <laughs> they don't really understand who is responsible for which part of a job. It's a teamwork. It's a teamwork of you, model and agent. So I will not tell you too much about yourself, but uh, what is a large language model? AI model, we call, the, we, we call it, uh, to be short, uh, usually developed by some major provider. Most of our users are using models by Anthropic, so Cloud, Cloud, Sunnet, Cloud, Opus. There is a Google Gemini, famous for its pretty big context window. I will explain your context window really soon because it's important. Also, OpenAI ChatGPT and much, much more. Usually, a uh, large language model, AI model, runs on a server somewhere in the cloud. There are ways to launch some models on your own machine, but we will not cover it in uh, this 101 level course, maybe a little bit later. And basically, model is very good in predicting which word should go after previous one. A model receives text and answers with text. There is a lot of magic in LLM things. We will not cover them in this course. Let's learn how to apply them. Very important limitation. What most of the people don't understand there, AI model cannot do anything with your files. But still it's happening somehow. And who is doing that? Agent. Agent is something what runs on your computer and that what communicates uh, with you, that's what communicates with model, and that's what applies all of the changes. Before, when agent learned the thing, if you would want to develop something using AI model, you would need to copy paste your existing code, send it to model, ask to do something like that, then receive result, then copy paste it back to your project. Maybe some of you did that before, I definitely did. Not really efficient. So agent is something, in our case, it's a killer code, a yeah, extension for Visual Studio Code. So something would runs right in your IDE, which receives uh, orders from you, orders or questions, then sends the required files to AI model. AI model suggests some changes, for example, if you're going to develop some new feature. And then killer code, our agent, executes those task, tasks, commands, write some changes into your files. You will see it in a moment happening right on your screen. So, enough of chatting of the responsibilities. It's applied course. So let's see how it's happening in the um, IDE in Visual Studio Code. It will be first touch. We will see how it works. We will switch to ask mode and we will ask model about our project. So, first thing you want to do after installation of a killer code, killer code when, when it was just installed, will appear on the left of your panel, right here. It's not convenient to work like that. Yes, you can switch to your files, you can switch to your plugins and gits and kilo, not the best way. So very first thing I suggest to do, move it to the sidebar. Just to the right. It's very convenient because now you will can work all with your files and with Kilo simultaneously. You don't need to switch between them all the time. You see, we just began and I already gave you a very good tip on efficiency. Now, sometimes you don't want uh, to have Kilo there, sometimes you do. There is a button right there, which helps you to hide it and show it back. Good. So now what we are going to do with this project, because it's our very first touch, we might not yet want to immediately 
write something. First, I want to understand what is this project about. Imagine me, I am a new developer being onboarded into a project, and I want to see what's happening here before making any changes. So I can get to my Kilo code interface. You can see on the higher part that we'll be, we will be getting answers, and in the lower part, we will be asking questions or giving comments. We can see what we're currently using Anthropic Cloud Sunnet 4. We will switch to Ask mode for now. I will explain modes in the very video, in the very next video. Stay with me. But for now, Ask mode is our safe choice. And then I will ask something. What is this project about? How to run it? Looks good enough. So let's go. I hit enter. And magic begins. Let's take a look on what's happening. First, uh, think what happens is uh, agent will send a request to the model uh, specifying our task. Our task here, if we can open and see it in the very up, what is this project about? How to run it? So the question we asked. Then there is more details coming there down. I will not stop here now. We will explore them in the next video. For now, it will be enough. It all happens to receive a request, which goes, as you can guess, to Anthropic to Cloudus and Net4. After receiving answer, model does checkpoints. Checkpoints are very important technique. So uh, when something goes wrong, when later uh, in the uh, communication with model, it changes something you don't want to be changed, you can easily click on this checkpoint and revert state of the task to this particular checkpoint. At the moment, there is no such button because uh, at the moment there are no changes. We are in the ask mode. So we see uh, what model begin to think. User is asking uh, about what this project is about and how to run it. I can see from environment details part of the prompt what's been sent to the model. What it's a to-do application project with various files, including HTML, TypeScript, React components, and configuration files. How model guesses it. it. Long story short, in the API request below our file, below our task, there are environment details which also specify current workspace directory with the file names, file paths of the project. And that's it. That ends environment details. So just base it on the listing of the files of uh, uh, this project. Model already understands what we are working with uh, web project, so HTML, TypeScript, to act component. Now it wants to read key files to understand project structure and purpose, and it will start with readme MD and package JSON, something what I would go to there I would go to to understand what this project is about. So Killer Code wants to read multiple files. Now very important to understand here is a thing. Killer code wants to read multiple files, not Sunnet, not Cloud then. Because that was the end of the first request. Now second thing happening after request has been executed. Model asked it to read those files. So now killer code as running locally on your machine will read readme, package JSON and index HTML and then return information from these files to the model. So if we open again next API request, we can see what there are. Uh, there is a content of the, the, those files, results delivered for read file for readme, package and index. So model can uh, understand what's happening inside what this file is about, what those files are about. After that, uh, this request is done. Uh, based on the analysis of the project files, here is what was project about and how to run it. So model did proper exploration, read the most important uh, files, and um, comes with a um, summary of the project. Uh, it's a to-do project based on to-do MVC framework, absolutely correct. It allows to add new to-dos by typing and pressing enter, toggle completion status, blah, 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 blah. Then it specifies technology stack. It's React 18, indeed. Uh, Webpack 5, to do MVC, CSS, local storage for data persistence, blah, blah, blah. So basically everything, all the information from package JSON. Now it gives project structure based on the file listing. And then finally, how to run the project. It generates prerequisites based on the package JSON file and gives steps to build and install all the dependencies and uh, run the project. 
npm install, npm run build, and then start development server, npm start. And the application will be served on a local server. Um, and that's it. So uh, then it gives some more information, but overall idea is task completed. We just did our first operation using killer code. Congratulations, that's really cool. So now you understand a little bit better what is model and what is agent. Agent is reading your files and sending it to models and then model decides what is it, thinks, decides which file to read and what this project is about and uh, how to run it, just reading our files. So in the next episode, we will learn what are those modes are, huh? how to use them, and we will make our very first change done with AI model. So, see you in the next video.